I hope that uh, you are having a fantastic day today. Once again, welcome to Practice Matters Daily. Today, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, practice a specific code and um, sometimes we have chords that uh, that contain so many notes it is almost impossible to play them with only one one hand so we need uh, we need to get into the habit of uh, practicing chords using both hands so we're gonna practice today today we're gonna practice a specific chord and uh, it's gonna be a specific a specific chord type to be to be uh, to be more precise uh, and the chord type the chord type is gonna be the chord type is gonna be uh, it's gonna be uh, dominant seventh sharp nine flat nine and flat five dominant seventh flat nine sharp nine and flat five Okay, let's uh let's go at it. Yes, when we when we practice chords uh, with more than four notes, for, for example, it uh, it is uh, it is it is it is hard to play. You know, those notes uh, with only one hand. So that's why it is very it is. Uh, very important to practice playing chords using both hands you know uh, especially especially when when the notes when when the chords may contain so many notes so i'm going uh, what i'm going to do today is a practice i'm going to practice uh, a specific uh, specific chord just like I just like I mentioned in the introduction so uh, I have let me give you the numeric formula to play to play that chord how I mean the way we're gonna the way we're going to practice it is going to be the numeric formula is it's gonna be the root, which is which is gonna which we're gonna play as a bass as the bass note in the lower section of the keyboard, and then we're gonna play the third, and we're gonna play flat. The third is gonna and then we're gonna play we're gonna play flat nine and sharp nine and then flat five we're going to practice this chord in the order in the order that i just gave you root in the bass and then uh, the third flat nine sharp nine and flat five and we're gonna we're gonna play we're gonna play uh, the root. The root 
it's going to be D flat in the bass. Okay. Okay. You, if you want, you can you can play you can double up the 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 bass if it, if it, if it is possible but sometimes you may not uh, be you may not be able to do so because you might need to add an ex extra an extra note in the bass above the above it so one one very important fact you need uh, you need to know when you practice chord with both hands try to spread the notes you know on the the note out on the keyboard don't try to play them very closely close to each other because you if you do so uh, if you do so you will hear some sort of distortion of the chord so the best way one of the best ways to to practice chords using both hands the same chord using both hands is to try to spread out the notes you know uh, away from each other but in, in, in but sp spread them out in a way that you can play them but not too close to each other because playing them too close to each other to each other will create sound distortion so let's let's uh okay let's uh, let's uh, let's play let's let us practice the d flat dominant seventh flat nine sharp nine and and flat five so always the bass is going to be the bass note the root is going to be played in the lower section of the keyboard d, fl d flat okay so what i'm going to do here since i have so many i have so many notes in the chord so i'm going to I'm going to uh, play one note above the bass to make it easier for me to to play the chord. So I got D flat here. So the next one is the third, which is F. So I'm going to play the. Well, no, no. Let me let me play it. Let me play that chord, uh, the bass a little lower. Okay, right here. Then I got the F. I'm going to play the F, which is the, the third of the chord. Okay. Okay, now, what do I need? I need the flat 9. What is 9? What is 9 in the, in the key of D flat? What, what, what is 9? 9 is going to be E flat. So flat 9, we just lower E half step, and then we got natural D. So the next one is sharp nine. Okay, what is nine again in the what is nine again in the key of D flat? That's E. So sharp nine is gonna be is gonna be half step above E flat. That would be natural E. So we got Okay, so now what we're missing now we're missing flat five. So flat five, what is five in the key of D flat? That would be A flat, right? So now we need we need flat five. So we lower A flat half step and then we get G. So the chord in this case is gonna be uh, D, D flat. F D third and then I got D flat nine E sharp na sharp nine and then G flat five Okay let me try another way but well, not another way but let me try uh, 
another, another voicing. Okay, D flat. D flat, F. And of course, you know, we missed one note. We missed one note. What about the the flat seven, which which actually identify identifies the chord as dominant seven? We go. Let's try it again. Well, let me try it. Let me let me keep using this voicing. Okay. So we have D flat. Then we got F, which is the third. And this is the, the the this is the dominant this is the flat seven that we missed earlier, which is going to be B, which actually makes the chord uh, dominant seventh chord. Okay. So now we can go ahead and play the flat nine and the sh and the sharp nine and the flat five. So now we got. It's gonna sound, it's gonna sound a little bit different now because we added the flat seven that we we missed earlier. So it's gonna be it. okay. Okay, if I try it uh, right here, it's gonna be okay. Now what you need to do is to practice the same concept in other with other chords in other keys. Okay. For example, you can use the same concept to play the same chord in the key of C, C major. So in this case, C will be the root. C will be C is the root. What is the second note we, we need? We need the third. We're gonna play the third in the bass also. But remember the root the the root has to be the lowest in the bass. So we got e, C, we got the third E, and in the flat seven. Okay. Then I need the flat nine. What is nine in the key of C? That's uh, D. So I got flat nine. I got flat. I got D flat. And I need sharp nine. What is, what is nine in the key of D? That's uh, uh, that's uh, what is nine in the key of C? For, uh, uh, I'm sorry. What is nine in the key of C? That's uh, D. So sharp nine will be will be the flat. The sh sharp nine will be D sharp. So okay, let me let me go back and and say let me go back and say say it again. Uh, if uh, if uh, the nine is D flat nine flat, flat nine is D flat the nine is D sharp nine is D sharp so we have flat seven which is B flat we got flat nine which is D flat we got sharp nine which is D sharp now we're missing the flat five and it's going to be uh, flat it's gonna be G flat okay okay that's the same concept that we used uh, for the D flat okay that's that you need to you need to uh, practice y your concepts in different uh, uh, scales Chromatically, I would, I might add. So you, you want to try another one? Let's try F major. Let's try to play the same, the same chord, the, the same chord in the, in the F major, in the key of F major. 
and the num the, the numeric formula is the same is num is root okay third flat seven flat flat nine sharp nine and flat five I think I might have I might have made a mistake in the num in the num in the num in the numeric a formula the first time but if I did the right one is uh, one flat seven no 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 one flat I'm sorry one three flat seven flat nine sharp nine and flat five okay using those numbers let's try to play the same chord okay in the key of of uh, F major let's try to play F dominant seventh uh, flat flat nine sharp nine flat five the number okay the root is one F the third is A the flat seven in the key of F major is E flat the nine in the key of F major is A so that means my flat nine will be no no the nine the nine in the key of F major is G okay so my my flat nine my flat nine my flat nine would be will be G flat and my sharp nine will be G sharp okay so let me do that again F the, the root in the bass third also in the bass but above the root flat seven E flat okay flat nine G flat sharp nine G sharp now what I need I need to play the flat uh, five so it's going to be in this case the five is C so the flat nine the five is C and the flat five is going to be B natural so it's going to be okay up So we just play three, three chords, the same chord. We just play three chords in three. Well, three chords in one. In, in three different major scales. Okay, that's one chord, one chord type, one chord type. In three different major scales by using the numeric a specific numeric formula okay so uh, remember you need to remember that I'm not a teacher and uh, I don't if I if I make a mistake use your own judgment you need to use your own judgment judgment and then see where the mistake is and then correct it yourself also I don't go back in I don't go back well I don't ed, ed, I don't edit my videos to try to correct speech mistakes I may have made because the conversations that this, the conversations that I ha that I'm having with you, these are informal, normal, day-to-day -day conversations. You know, if uh, I'm not going to cut and paste, you know, my 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 video, uh, uh, cut and paste, you know, data 
in my videos to mess up the frames I don't I don't really want to do that so so if I if, if I if I made mistake if I make in a video if I made mistakes I know about it okay but I'm not going to mess up my videos by cutting and pasting and then and then mess them up so I hope you understand all right okay uh, until then have a great day